Hey, I had a little accident and I accidentally forgot to detach the breakaway cable from my truck so it snapped off. So the goal is to remove this without disconnecting the brake line, the emergency brake line. So um, let's go ahead and try to get started. As you can see I already moved this pin from here and that way it opens out and see if we could take out the uh, part actuator I believe from here um, so we're gonna try and do that I also removed this pin from right here that goes in here so what I did is I got these little I cut up these wooden dowels to remove these rings from here and push this in where these pins go that way the whole part stays in place this is what I did I just cut these dowels just long enough to sit inside this housing right here this part right here you don't want it to get you don't want it too long because it's gonna trap, it's gonna get, it's gonna block it when you try to take it out. So I cut it just long enough to push this in through. You can see I had to tap that dowel in there and guide it through the hole as the other pin fell out. So it just slowly started coming out as I tapped this in with the dowel. So you see how it's flush, I don't know if you can see it, you see how it's flush, and then this one too, this one was actually pretty easy, it just, it just slid in there, so that's it, um, now what I'm planning on doing is moving this arm this way, and see if I could pull out the whole um, hydraulic brake to this side. I'm just going to go ahead and remove this bolt right here. So, I'll be back. Alright, I had to compromise. I finally took out the bolts, sat on this little, some, whatever it is, basket, but just to sit it on there so I could try to take off the rear piece. Um, I had to compromise. I didn't have any crate or anything to sit it on for now. So, it's going to have to do for now. So, I'm just going to go ahead and turn it this way and then slide the whole hydraulic thing out so here's the bottom gentlemen you see how these wooden dowels sit in there perfectly oh, sorry come on the sun so this is the bottom and I believe the cable is supposed to go right here wrapped around right here make sure these are bent not supposed to be bent if you see that, then there's probably some damage to it. So, on this I believe. And let me double check. And I'll get back. Alright guys, well, um, I guess it turned out that I had to push out this rod right here, out that way. So in order for that to happen, I had to push, take this wooden dowel out. So that this part right here comes out this way same thing with the rear one so make sure you're working on it on the sideways like this so now I have the new pieces which I'm gonna remove this one and replace it with this big one the cable has been redesigned to um, because for this, the other one, the old one is shorter because obviously it's just a small, smaller uh, piece. This one's going to be long, a longer piece. Obviously it's bigger, so it's redesigned to be a little shorter for it to work. So, I'll show you how to put it back together again. Alright guys, so I was able to push the cable through here all the way into there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, just through here all the way and just 
run it through the other side. Uh, make sure it runs in freely. It's not catching on to anything. So put it in through this, um, I guess, whole area gap. So it's going to wrap around this way and it's going to catch on to this, which I'm going to replace. So just remember this is going to go right here where these wooden dowels go. I just have it in there because it's holding the other little wheels in there. So just for now, I'm going to replace this one with this piece. But I got to run the cable in first through here so that it catches on. So there. So I just slide it in. And then just put the cable in through here. Now what I'm going to have to do is now push all the parts back in. Slide this whole assembly inboard. And I have to remove this because this has to sit in there. I don't know if you can see it, but in between these two little wheel thingies. So, alright. So, I'll get back to you. Sorry guys, uh, it's hard for me to hold camera actually I'm using my cell phone but as you can see I ran the cable through here make sure this is going to be on the other side and put a little uh, this uh, little piece and then uh, I ran it in pull the parts back in use the wooden dowel to hold it in place just like in the beginning same thing back here and that's pretty much it. So this cable is loose freely, so it's not holding on to anything or catching on to anything. So there you go. Now just do the whole reverse process again and uh, install it back together.